here is the Nokia Lumia 800. It's the long-awaited Windows phone device. And as you can see here, the physical layout on the outside is extremely similar to the Nokia N9, which we just reviewed on a site recently. So uh, yeah, let me just give you a quick walk around. You've got the same 3.9-inch AMOLED clear black display here on the front. It's a uh, wide VGA, 800 by 480, but it does have the uh, extra space down here is used up by these uh, Windows keys, right? You've got the back, the Windows, and the search key. And then uh, uh, the other thing you have to keep in mind is that there's a few changes in the back here. As you notice, the flash has been moved to the right of the camera instead of where my finger is, which is where it's located on the N9. Other than that, there's really no other way to tell that this is the uh, Lumia 800 versus the N9. So uh, let me walk you uh, around the uh, around the phone. So what you see here is the speaker grill at the bottom also has a microphone. On the right hand side here you have a camera key on the left, a dual detent and then a power lock key and of course the uh, volume rocker up and down. And uh, on the top here you've got the, the same design as the N9. You got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a little door that you can pop open. Let me show you that like that with the uh, USB uh, connector and then next to it is the SIM card slot which uh, I just popped open so you can see it there I can't really undo it with one hand but you get a feel it, pull, it pulls out uh, so then on the left hand side there's really absolutely nothing on this phone uh, which is really much the same as it is on the N9 so let's unlock it here and I guess I just turned it off. So here we've turned it on again and uh, as you can see it's a standard Windows Phone kind of UI here. You've got basically the tiles and the same font it looks like. I'm not sure. One of the things I'd like to know is if they've changed the font to Nokia Pure from the Metro font but I can't really tell. Um, so some of the distinctive features here are the Drive app. You can see it right there. And so uh, it supports both landscape and uh, portrait right here. And so this is optimized for use in your car, very similar to the drive app on the uh, Nokia N9 that we covered in our review. And then, um, of course, you've got uh, the Nokia Music uh, app, which is right here. And so these are unique to, uh, to the Lumia 800. And as you can see, you got the mix radio, which is a great feature, which uh, allows you to pick mixes right off the bat. So I'll see if it'll connect to the internet here. It's connected to Wi-Fi, but I think it's having a bit of a hard time connecting. So, um, yeah, I mean, it feels exactly like the N9. It just looks exactly like the N9, uh, other than this flash in the back, and of course, the lack of front-facing camera button, and these three physical uh, capacitive, well, they're not physical, the capacitive keys underneath the display here. Uh, we're looking at the, almost the exact same four factor. So, um, that's in a nutshell, the uh, Nokia Lumia 800 here at uh, Nokia World. Cheers! And this here is the Nokia Lumia 800 in pink. So I thought I'd show you the pink one because it looks absolutely stunning. Um, this is uh, a Nokia employee's phone so I don't want to actually go through the menus and show their personal information. But as you can see it is it is alive and well. It does have all the functionality you'd expect. Uh, uh, the special apps like Drive and the music. But most importantly uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, so remember this is uh, uh, running Windows Phone. It's a 3.9 inch AMOLED display with clear black technology from Nokia. And uh, of course, again, the difference here, the Windows keys uh, yeah, below the display. And then on top, you have the same layout as the uh, other one that I showed you uh, with the USB door here, uh, the SIM card door there, and uh, the headphone jack here on the bottom. Um, and that's pretty much it, nothing on the left, and the back looks like this gorgeous shade of pink with the 8 megapixel card size autofocus camera. Now, this is packing, of course, a um, 1.5 gigahertz um, CPU, uh, the fastest one in the lineup. And there you have it. Get this, this is the blue one. So uh, it looks like it might be Mego here, but it's actually not. It's, uh, it's Windows Phone. Uh, as you can see here, so this is the blue uh, 800 Lumia 800 from Nokia. As you can see here, is the bottom speaker holes again, the size with the same ca camera key, power lock key, and volume rocker, and the top same layout, headphone jack, 
USB and the SIM slot and I'm going to try to open this for you but it might not work. There we go. I got it. So as you can see is one handed it's a little difficult and then the SIM slot next to it. And then uh, finally I wanted to show you the back because it's beautiful. So this is the uh, blue Nokia Lumia 800 and uh, contrary to what I said earlier it's actually also clocked at 1.4 gigahertz not 1.5. 1.4, they're all 1.4 including the Lumia 710.